Hey everybody, it's the Walrus, and I'm back at Papano's Pond, a place that I've visited many times and helped stock. And we are, well me, am here to uh, try to pull some fish out today, see if we can get anything done. It's about, you know, 43 degrees in Indiana and uh, a little bit windy, but we'll see what we can do. I'll let you know if we get anything. Being joined by furry friend here. Hey kitty. Come on down, let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like the water's dropped a little bit on the pond. Actually dropped a couple of feet, but uh, hopefully that won't affect it too bad. Nice cold water. Just gonna fish from the end of the dock with my ugly stick and uh, really light tackle. Got some night crawlers, we're just gonna throw them out there see what's biting. I just had a bite and uh, couldn't set the hook on him in time. But, uh, it's pretty slow biting. Oh, oh come on. Yeah, just saw that action happening. Let's see if we can get him to take the bait this time. And in the meantime, I still have my furry friend here standing guard with me. Oh, I'll let you know if they're again. Yeah, he's on. Oh, not a bad little bluegill there. Let me lay him down here. I'm trying to record with one hand and fish with the other. Oh, come back. Come back. Yeah. Decent sized bluegill. I'm not keeping any today, so I'll just throw him back in. But good to see that they're still of good size and they're biting. I'll put him back in here. Yeah. Look at that beautiful gill. Back in the drink. See if I can catch your oh, mother. There we go. Got another one. About the same size. Maybe a little smaller. You know, they're biting today. Gotta get that. Nice bluegill. Again, about the same size. Maybe a little bit bigger or smaller. I can't tell. But pretty good. If I was keeping him, he'd definitely be going in a pan. I'll be with my opposite hand here. Another one back down. Just can't beat the scenery here. Just all the beautiful trees. And just this pond. They just put it in uh, three years ago. And I've been stocking it for the last two. And I'll probably put more fish in it this year. This coming year, you know, 2018. But, uh, still producing fish. Yeah, okay, so that's one. a good thing. Another similarly sized bluegill again. They seem to be what's biting. You know, about six of these would make a great dinner. I've got a bunch of fish in the freezer, though. I don't need to do all this catch and cook stuff right now. But, you know, they're all. Pretty good size fish. And it stands to reason because I stocked this thing with pretty good size fish, so they have good breeding stock. And hopefully they'll keep growing. Yeah, I didn't film the release of that one, but uh, found a little pocket of them sitting right here, about three foot, four foot off the dock. And uh, hopefully we can get another bite. Uh, it's the last day of November here in Indiana. About 40 degrees. Uh, judging by the sun, it's about 5 o'clock. And see if we can catch some more. Well, the sun went down, and apparently the bite went with it. So we're just, me and my little fishing buddy here, the kitty cat, are going to call it a day. Um, try to get back to house and check on the Chan man who's still, you know, recovering from his illnesses. I'm keeping an eye on my line, so I keep looking down. But, uh, that's about all she wrote. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more. And I'll get back to you next time. But as always, make today the best that you can just by you being a part of it. Happy trails, everybody.